Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you uh, the fastest with the good quality uh, render settings in VideoWave uh, software, which is the software that comes with the Roxio Game Capture. This isn't going to be an HD rendered, um, but don't you know exit out of the video yet, because uh, it does not need to be uh, HD uh, rendered, because it's not even captured in HD, and first of all, if you didn't have a Roxio, um, now you know that it's captured in 480p, but it still looks fine. It doesn't need to be rendered in HD, which you will see in another video because I'll upload the quality test. Anyways, just let's get to it. If you want to know how to render fast with good quality, this is the video because I know how annoying it gets uh, rendering like a minute video that takes like a minute and a half to render. This, if it was a minute video, it would take about 30 to 40 seconds to render. Not bad, you know. Especially with Video Wave, because they have long render times in Video Wave. Um, so I'm gonna open up Roxio Video Wave. Um, it's a 16 by 9 ratio. It's a widescreen video. Um, if you want good quality and you want a good YouTube video, it's not gonna be 4 by 3 anyways. So I'm not gonna worry about that. Now I'm gonna add a video which is an AVI. It's a cl 30 clip of 30 second clip of Skyrim. Uh, I use AVI because it's way better uh, sound quality. It is larger. Uh, file size by a lot, by like 10 times larger, but um, it's more reliable also than DVI-X, so I'd rather have uh, good video quality and great audio and more reliable than DVI-X, which is great video and terrible audio and less reliable, so that's why I have AVI. So you can share directly to YouTube, you can upload it from Video Wave, which probably saves you a good amount of time, but it doesn't look as great as the rendered finish. Um, that's what I like. I like the rendered finish. Um, so after you're done doing your auto color, everything you need to do to the video, you're going to go to export as. I'm not going to save. Um, so here's your list. The most common are definitely the DIVX HDs, um, mostly the 720p at 60 frames per second. Do not do 1080p with anything because there's no difference between 1080p and 720p on YouTube. Uh, on YouTube, all right? Remember I said that. So my last one was um, iPad 720p HD, which in my opinion looked the best, but it took a long time to render. And um, another good one is Windows Media Video 9, uh, 1280 by 720 uh, VBR, which is also in HD. It doesn't say it, but it's a WMV file also, and it has the correct dimensions of YouTube. Um, so, but the one I'm going to use is AVC Good Quality renders really fast and fine quality don't need HD um, I'm not going to show you how it renders um, because when I have my recording software up it renders a little bit slower than it usually does but you can even try it for yourself trust me it, it goes a lot faster um, and it looks fine I'll have a video up soon uh, probably right after this um, so I hope you found this informational um, and helpful because I know how annoying it can be it can get once again with rendering a long video and takes forever to render so go check out the quality test I'll probably have the link in the description as well so yep see you guys